Hello and welcome back to Fair Weather Trains. Today we're going to have a look at a couple of old Batman 440 steam locos. The one you're looking at there is uh, an American 440 Union Pacific number 119. I do have a box for this, I'll just uh, put that in so you can see exactly what it's called. There we go, and you'll be pleased to know it's an authentic 440 loco, which is very nice. Good on Backman for that. And it's also lighted, as it says on the box. So hopefully that doesn't involve flames, but uh, we'll see. So these are also released in the UK by Airfix. In fact, I don't know whether they were originally Airfix and Backman made them after that or the other way around but like the airfix versions come out in 1977 if i remember correctly and presumably they were exactly the same they look exactly the same and these are okay and the uh from any sort of distance the detail looks pretty good it doesn't really stand up when you get very close some of the paint works a bit iffy but then they are quite old but i do think they're nice looking Nice looking things and well decorated. Uh, I'm not sure what that that is. Presumably that's supposed to be wood. Uh, it's got an eight, eight wheel tender. And you can see there between the loco and the tender, the drive shaft because the motor is in the tender. And it, but the driving wheels are the loco. So there's a drive shaft comes through the middle there and uh, drives the wheels got uh, two traction tyres on it, it is a good puller um, and it's got a, a light on the front which does work but they appear to be powered at least partially by the pickups on the front bogey there. Now they're on a spring and they're a little bit bouncy I find, uh, maybe if you've got perfect laid track unlike mine. Um, they're absolutely fine so the light does flash a bit especially on this one um, and they also have a, a tendency to derail a fair amount because of that bouncy front bogey uh, they're quite noisy they sound like a wasp in a bottle but they are reasonable runners so we'll give this one just a little bit of juice to see if it'll move I hope it will <laughs> There we go. They don't really crawl that well, but they are old. And it is a tiny little motor in the uh, tender there. Well, once you get them going at any sort of speed, they're reasonable runners. Yeah, as you can see. So I've got some coaches, which we'll roll in back to pick up. In fact, we'll have a look at the coaches. This is what it's gonna be pulling. These called old timer coaches or also called old west coach, at least the Batman version, but Airfix put these out as well. And I think their um, exploding coach was also one of these. It says Batman, yeah. Now these came out about the same time, and again, Airfix did put these out too. But I'm not sure whose they were first. I would imagine Batman, but. Um, who knows? Let's get that one back on there. So we'll run this one backwards. See if it'll get back through all these points without crashing and burning. Or stalling, which it's done already. Yeah, the pickup for the motor for this only on the tender. So it's not a very big spread there, as you can see. which does, does hamper it over uh, crossings, as you can tell right there. Just running backwards a bit more. I think we've got them. Change those points and we'll send it off. You'll be able to see how the light flashes as it's traveling along.
here, it flashes away. But the loco is not stored in any way or shuddering, so uh, it has to be the um, just the pickups for the lights. Yeah, that's running okay. And the second one is pretty much the same. So this one's called Jupiter. Slightly different box for this one, it's a white one. Again, it's lighted. There you go, American 440 Central Pacific Jupiter. Have a look around the box, see what else is about at the same time. Oh yeah, Gandhi Dancer. This one was also done by Airfix at some point. Yeah, it's exactly the same uh, setup with the drive shaft in there. The detailing is again okay from a distance. In fact, this one's probably a little bit better because there's less actual paintwork, uh, decals and stuff on it. No cab detail at all. This one, the light's a bit better on this one, although I've got to say, the, uh, the chimney there, I've lost it. It's pretty decent. Yeah, that's nice. None of this is metal. Although the, the boiler may be metal actually. Yeah, I think the boiler's metal. They're not really light, uh, they've got a reasonable weight to them. Let's see if this one will creep at all. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. He's got some coaches there as well, same type. Let's see if this one will get out without coming off. I hope the camera's picking up the noise they make, especially this one. That's the noise of the two. I'll slow it down a bit. And not too much because they'll probably stall on points. This one here is the uh, Riva Rossi version, it's a Virginia and Truckee. This is a much better runner. Although it looks mainly the same, I've not had this one apart, so I don't know. But again, it's got a drive shaft in there. Uh, this is a much better runner. Uh, but it doesn't, I don't think this one has lights. Um, if it has, it doesn't work. But I've never had the top of this one. I think I've put that one in a, a video in the past. Anyway, back to these.
Would I recommend these? Well, I would if you want something different to run from time to time. I don't run them much, but they do make a change to see them running on the layout from what you're normally running. And they're just something a bit different. You should be able to pick them up 15, 20 quid. Well, I wouldn't pay any more than that, really. I'll just bring the other one in. And there we go, that's it. A quick look at two Backman American 440 locos with a guest appearance by the, the best one of the lot, the Viva Rossi. Thanks very much and see you next time. Bye.